Hello everyone and thank you much for watching, this is me Mr. P and this is another episode in the Proxmox series. One of my previous episodes was to demonstrate for you how you can host iSCSI drive inside your virtualized TrueNAS system and how you can use that iSCSI drive to mount to a Diapi OS running system and then migrate Diapi's use Diapi OS user files to that iSCSI drive to make sure that they are always backed up and if something happens to for example your Raspberry Pi and a micro SD card your Diapi user data files are still located safely stored and backed up and snapshotted inside the TrueNAS system. If you want to watch that video I'll leave a link in the description below. In this video I'll show you how you can use the same approach to create iSCSI drive and that drive can be mounted inside a window system. I know a lot of you using Samsung DeX as your main main computer, but just in case if you have old computer that you want to, you have an old computer, old laptop, and you want to store the files somewhere securely, iSCSI drive can be created and hosted inside the virtual TrueNAS machine, and then have all the files backed up and ready, basically ready to be restored. So what you need to do to get that going? First of all, we need to log in inside a TrueNAS and create ourselves a SkySCSI drive. So I'm inside my TrueNAS virtual machine. As you can see, uh, this is my data sets. And if I go down through this folder tree, you see there is a data set created iSCSI drives. And then there is a subfolder called Raspberry Pi. And then there is a Kodi. This is the actual iSCSI drive that I used in that previous episode. And I just renamed a couple of, renamed the data sets just to make, make my life easier. So next thing, uh, just below the iSCSI drives, there is a Raspberry Pi. I'm going to mouse over this one. I'm going to click on the three dots and say create a data set. And I will call this Windows. Make sure that I select the generic to from generic to Samba because I want this folder just to be accessed via SMB. All the data sets that I create, they all have Samba access. I'm just making sure that basically I said no, it's a bit overkill, but it's fine. Now I'm basically doing the ACL, changing ACL to make sure that user by the name Dex has access to it. So under A um, iSCSI drives, there is two for two data sets right now called one is Raspberry Pi and the one's called Windows. If I mouse over Windows, click on the three dots and then click add Z volume. Give a Z volume, so I'm gonna call it Windows 11 uh, YT uh, VM, so Windows 11 YouTube virtual machine. How much storage I want to give this? So I will give 256 gigabytes. That's fine. And under advanced options, uh, leave everything. Yeah, everything. I don't need advanced options. So 256 gigabytes and click save. So this is right now saving. Uh, if I go to uh, Windows, I see there is a volume created of 250, well, 260 gigabytes, but it's actually 256 gigabytes. Windows 11 YTVM. Now I need to share that via iSCSI. So I will go on the left hand side, click on the shares. And right now there is a block already shared with the code Pi that I used in that previous episode about Diapi OS. I'm just going to click on configure, click on a wizard, give it a name. So I'm going to call it Windows 11 YT VM. I will share the device. So from a drop down, I will make sure the device is selected. The next drop down, I want to make sure that I'm selecting the right iSCSI drive. Sharing platform, make sure that I select modern OS and click next. Portal, if I click on this, it's already a, or gives me a, one of the options that I created in the previous episode. But basically that means that any local device can have access to the iSCSI when I will do a dis discovery of this target. Click next. Uh, next on that and click save. So once that's done, everything is configured. I can see my base name is iSCSI drives. And if I go on the shares folder again on the left hand side, I can see win 11 YT VM showing up. So now we can mount this inside of Windows machine. I don't have a handy Windows machine like ready for me to go and test this out. So I created my own virtual machine of Windows 11, which we're going to use for this video. I will use RD client Android app to log into this virtual machine. So I'm going to just click on this. And this is my Windows 11 virtual machine uh, inside of tree, inside of Proxmox. But you can do this on any Windows machine. I think iSCSI first was introduced in Windows 95 era, maybe Windows 98. So basically any current OS will have this feature installed in any current um, micro, any current Windows OS can speak today uh, will have this a feature that we're going to use is called iSCSI 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 what's this called iSCSI initiator this should be built in in any Windows machine starting from I think Windows 98 so I'm going to click on this is going to tell me that do I want to run this in, as a service? That means it automatically will start every time when the Windows machine starts. 
I'm going to say yes. So right now we need to add enter the target and the target is your true NAS IP address. So if I'm going to go back inside, double check what's my true NAS and a true NAS is ending of 24, go back inside RDP and I will enter a P address of my true NAS. So 192.168.178.24 and quick connect. And this gives me options. So I have two iSCSI drives currently in the share on this drive. I have Kodi and I have Windows 11. So two drives currently being shared inside the true NAS. I will select Windows 11 YTVM and click connect. Login successful, connect, uh, connecting already sapped. Okay, great. I'm going to click done. And right now I can see that a Kodi dash Pi is inactive and the virtual machine is active. And great, I'm gonna click OK. So right now, iSCSI drive has been mounted. We're gonna go back inside the start and put a search for partitions. Create a format, uh, create and format hard disk partitions. Click on that. Once this starts, it will detect, hey, you have a new drive. Do you want to get this one going? I'm gonna leave everything by default. I'm gonna click OK. And right click on this black line, which is my new drive, and click New Simple Volume. Click Next. Give all the storage. Letter D is fine. Under Volume Name, where it says New Volume, I like to put I SCSI. That just indicates that I know this is not a physical drive, but it's actually hosted somewhere else. Click Next on that. Wait for my RD client to restart, and here we go finish. After a couple of seconds, Windows reformatted this drive. So right now I have a drive called iSCSI and it's a letter D. I can close that. Go inside the file browser, click on a PC. And here we go. This is my drive that I just created as a, as a Z volume inside my virtualized true NAS. And I mount it to a Windows machine. And I can use this drive right now to basically as a normal drive I would use which is connected to any Windows machine. So that's it. This is the drive that I mounted to a Windows machine. I obviously done this inside the virtualized Windows 11 machine just because I don't have a, a spare Windows machine to demonstrate this for you. But this can be done on any Windows OS, like I said, starting from 98. And if you are short on storage inside your Windows laptop or Windows computer and your C drive, as you can see, is 10.2 gigabytes free. Um, you can create a Z volume inside your virtualized true NAS with a terabyte of storage and share that to your Windows machine. And again, like I mentioned in my previous video about Diapi OS and iSCSI drives, only one computer can be connected to one SCSI drive. Well, one computer can be connected to multiple SCSI drives, but one iSCSI drive can be linked to only one computer. So just keep, bear that in mind when you're creating this stuff. Anyway, thank you much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in a new one. Goodbye.